right, welcome back. Morning sickness and nausea, like I felt early on in my pregnancy, big problem for pregnant women. I know, and sometimes it's not just morning sickness, but afternoon and evening. Leslie Schertz, who knows a little bit about this herself here from the University of Utah, with her darling brand new Darius. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. So you just recently went through this, I right? Did, did yes. you have the the morning sickness and the nausea? Definitely, yes, I did. Oh, big problem. Yeah. And they say that eighty percent of women have to deal with this. And recently, we've been hearing about the princess who actually had to go to the hospital mm -hmm. in England dealing mm -hmm. with Princess Kate. So, how do you know the difference between when it's just normal morning sickness and when it's a severe problem and you need to go talk to your doctor? Well, when it's a severe problem is when it affects your quality of life when you can't do the things at work you need to do and you can't take care of your other kids. When you're losing a lot of weight, um, those would all be signs you'd want to talk to your doctor. Because there's certain types of medication that can actually help you out so you don't have to suffer so much with the morning sickness or the all day sickness, whatever yeah. you want to talk, call it. There's, yeah, there's several medications that haven't been shown to have any risks associated with them. And only about 15% of women actually get medication help while they're pregnant. So there's definitely a lot of, you know, if you're suffering, go get help, talk to your health care provider. And I think that would be the number one concern, at least I know when I was pregnant, you try to stay away from mm -hmm. anything, but these medications you're saying don't affect the baby or breastfeeding or anything like that? Right. Yeah, there's been a lot of studies and there's a new study that just came out on a, the most common one on Dancitron or Zofran and it wasn't shown to have any increased risks with it. And so we definitely encourage women if they're, you know, having problems with nausea and vomiting to talk to their health care provider. Because when you can't function, yeah. then you can't take care of your other kids yeah. or just take care of everything in general that you need to get yeah, done. Yeah, can't even get out of bed sometimes. Mm -hmm. I understand that early treatment really quickly is something that also helps too if you go in sooner rather than later to get help on this. Yeah, because some women will get so severe that they'll have to go to the hospital and then it could affect their baby because they're so sick okay. and they have to get IV fluids. So if they take care of it before that happens, then, it, then it's better for them and the baby. Okay, well thank you for bringing in cute little Darius Thanks. and giving us all those Thanks tips.